Turning out to new developments in the Crystal Rogers case this afternoon, prosecutors say one of the suspects was recruited to get rid of Rogers. WDRB's Valerie Chin reveals the evidence the Commonwealth says it has on this case. He has never learned uh, what occurred to Crystal. But Steve Lawson is getting immunity in the Crystal Rogers case. In a recent court filing, prosecutors outline why. They say he lied to investigators by changing his story. They asked him to just tell the truth and cooperate. And I think he's done that. They've interrogated him for over a dozen times. But prosecutors say Lawson was truthful about some things. The Commonwealth says in Lawson's statements, he said just a few days before Crystal Rogers' disappearance, Brooks Houck solicited him to murder Crystal Rogers, and that Houck recruited him to move Rogers' car. Lawson's attorney said his only involvement is picking up his son, Joseph Lawson, who was driving Rogers' car when it got a flat tire on the Bluegrass Parkway. Prosecutors say Joseph Lawson is also a suspect and wasn't offered immunity. Prosecutors say the Lawsons had worked for Houck and the new court filing talked about Houck's police interview where he called Steve Lawson. Do you remember the other night you called me really, really late and I, I forgot, I forgot what you asked me. Can you, uh, I, well, I guess it wasn't on the phone. I might have been tired. I know it was pretty late at night. Can you remember what you asked me or what you uh, were after? I can't remember. Yes, sir, I can. I told ask you for them numbers for a house. Oh, for a rental house. The prosecutors say Steve Lawson had already told detectives that the call in the early morning of July 4, 2015, was to tell Brooks the job is done of moving Roger's car. Houck, Joseph, and Steve Lawson are all scheduled for trial in February of 2025. Valerie Chen, WDRB News.